Alright, and welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to cut the crap and get right down to business. The winner of the Hot Topic coupon is Ambo Hirsch, Amber Hirsch. The reason why I decided to pick her was because there was only three people that commented and I figured to be fair, she was the first that commented. So, there you go. Do not worry, I will have more giveaways, more contests, more stuff like that. I'm not doing that for any publicity or views or anything like that. I just want to be able to give back to my viewers. So, let's dive right in. I have a huge Dollar General haul that I'm going to start out with. And I went there a couple days ago. Ooh, ooh. I went there a couple days ago and there was a huge, huge sale going on there, girl. And I had had to go there. So I, I just had to do it. So the first thing that I got was this amazing fluffy pillow. It retails for 10 bucks. I got it for $5. And it's really, it's really soft and fluffy. If you do get a pillow like this or if you're into cyber goth like me, if you have any of those leg fluffies, do not put those in the washing machine. Do not ever put them in the dryer. Always use OxyClean or an OxyClean um, detergent and hand wash them and let them air dry. Yeah. Next thing I got was this oversized giant coffee cup. I really like this cup. This um, retailed for two fifty. I got it for a dollar something. Everything that I got was half off. So yeah. I really like it. I might use it to replace my uh, makeup brush cup that's going on back here because it is just overflowing with everything that I got from Ipsy. So maybe I'm a huge coffee drinker so I might just drink out of it. The next thing I got was a uh, was this. It was the last C1 they had here. Um, I'm engaged to Mr. Beetleman and his last name starts with a C. So I figured I'd get that. Um, it does have a little bit right down here if you see that. A little bit of a chip. But um, I figure with just a little bit of my smooch uh, metallic paint that will just cover that right up. I'm not exactly sure how well this will be sturdy. It has a few little you know, tack-ons right here on the back. This is all actually, I think this is glass, but it's really pretty, really chic, kind of goth, kind of just, just pretty looking. So, um, I got this for two fifty. This was originally a dollar. Alrighty. Now, next couple things I got were, um, I got one for me and then I got some gifts for people, but these were on sale. So I got these. And these are um, incense burners. They're 75 cents each. Um, I got myself this one. And the next three items are um, like jewelry trays. Or like pin trays. Or makeup trays. Whatever. Um, but this is the one I got myself. It's really pretty. It's just little eyes. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. Because as you can see back here. This is all packed. Everything in my drawers packed. So I'll, I'll find a place for it. The next one I got and this one I really had to wrap up. I should have unwrapped this before I filmed this but I I just put it all here and just decided to shoot. If anybody knows of any editing software that is free or at a decent price please let me know because I I'm doing all this stuff in one shoot old school so yeah, please comment down there and let me know. The next one I got is this one. I got this for a friend of mine. Um, we both want to get these matching tattoos for a loved one of ours that passed away. But I really love this makeup tray and I saw it and I knew it would be all about her and I thought it was really, really pretty. But it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of thick, but not super thick, so if you get one of these or anything like that from any store, make sure they really wrap that up so you don't break it, because I am the most clumsiest po person in the world, so I have, like, I have, like, four plates left. I broke, like, 
I don't even know how many just because I'm a bull in a china shop. But the next one that I got was this one. And I just think that's so cute. Just so chic. This one's going to my, um, a friend of mine too. Um, I've never met her. She's my boyfriend's girlfriend. So I figured I'd get her a cute little, you know, just welcome to the family gift. Um, all of these, um, jewelry trays, I believe they were $5 and I got them for $2.50. All right. That is all of Dollar General. The next thing I'm going to get into is some Dollar Tree stuff. And the first things I want to address right now are some seasonal items. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this. This is a coffin box. Really cute with a cute little bat on it. And this is where I keep my little makeup sponges. And on the inside is this cute little Nosferatu vampire. I just think that's just so adorable. But I keep a little tissue in here because when their makeup sponges are damp, you don't want anything to just, you know, just tatter this at all. I got a little bit of tape on here because my pet rats like to chew things. But I just love this box, and it's just really cute, detailed, and it was only a dollar, and it's, it's big. It's big. If I travel, I usually put all of my makeup brushes in here. Speaking of makeup brushes, I... Been in the room in here. Oh, where did they go? Oh. Over a period of time, I got these Wet n Wild brushes right here. I got this really pretty angled small eyeliner brush, this blendy eyeshadow brush, and this blush brush. And I got these at different times, but right now at the Dollar Tree, they're all the whole sets there individually for a dollar. So if you want to, you can get the whole set. I really like them. They're very soft. They're not kind of scratchy or anything. And they're all synthetic, so no animals were harmed in that. Um, next for seasonal are these awesome glow-in-the-dark, um, I believe these are fabric paints. I'm not really sure. They're just glow-in-the-dark paint. They're acrylic, of course. They're non-toxic, so if you got kids and they eat it, it's no big deal. And these are, um, I believe, black light, too. So I do a lot of arts and stuff with these, and it's just... They were only a dollar each, and there's a lot of paint in there. You do kind of have to put on a couple coats, but it's it's definitely worth it. The next couple of items I got during the um, the whole school supply stuff, and I got these um, these chapsticks, which are great for winter time, and they smell really good. I got a couple of them a long time ago, and I just repurchased these. I got these super cute. Owl pencil sharpeners. I got a couple packs of pencils. So if you're an artist and stuff, or you're just doodling, or just any type of need for a pencil, it's good to have a lot of pencils. And they're sparkly. So you got these sparkly ones in here. And I really like those when I was growing up um, in, in grade school. That whole sparkle pencil thing just came out, so it was kind of like a big deal or whatever, but it was neat. Um, I got these pencil pouches. So there's this one, and these are, um, canvas. And I got this one. Okay, so that's for seasonal. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you about is that the light that I have right here, because my ring light didn't go through with my card, so it was kind of a hit and miss with that. But, um, my friend got me this. And this is from the Dollar Tree, and this is currently the light that is going on right now in my face. So that was pretty good win because the light that I had for that fixture broke. So that's pretty sweet. Um, for like household items, if you go to Dollar Tree, it's the cool thing about that is I think some of the medicines, a lot of people are kind of like about the medicines. One thing I will say about Dollar Tree is do not take any of their vitamins. Just just for me personally, I took some that I bought there and it made me break out and made me kind of sick. So just, just coming from me, just be really careful if you take any vitamins from Dollar Tree. That's just my word of wisdom there. The other thing though is if you get like home stuff like antacids or ibuprofen or stuff like that, super cheap. They work really well, especially their cold medicine. I actually got kind of sad because they had a cold medicine there that was really cheap that I would 
take all the time during winter time it was the best because we're kind of coming into spring now but I miss it so much cleared cleared me all up and it was like it was like day quilt pretty much um, next thing are like these little flossies these are really cool um for beauty products I got these at Dollar General and or Dollar Tree and these are what I use this is um Vital Sassin Pro Series spray repair and finish and it's VS repair um it comes like this and it's this little cap and it just you know little spritz it goes out more of a spray but um I use this for my flat iron so this is a really good hair lotion if um, you're straightening your hair and you don't want it frizzy, you don't want it staticky, this works really good. The other thing I got was this hairspray, and um, it, I used to use Rave, but somehow maybe they changed the formula, I don't know, but it just sort of crack and crackle my hair and dry it out really bad. So I got this, and this works really great, It's it keeps my hair soft, it doesn't crack or anything like that. The only thing, if you get some hairsprays from... Dollar Tree is to make sure you clean out this nozzle because it will get sticky. Okay. <sighs> Couple other things I got were some packs of eyelashes. Um, if you're um, allergic to latex like me, they do offer little single packs of latex-free eyelash glue. So if you don't like the glue in here and you just want to toss those out, you can get some latex-free glue. Um, I haven't used that yet, so I can't really give you all the tea on that one. But, um, I want to start wearing fake eyelashes. I think they're just so cool and hip and all that stuff. And they make your eyes really pop. But my eyes are almond shaped. So I usually have problems with eyelash eyelashes because they like to peel right here in this corner. So, still kind of working on the whole fake eyelash thing. Okay. So, a couple of other things I got from Dollar General are these. Okay. So when they first came out, they're called the Rose Collection, and these, if you try to buy these, just these tiny little candles, um, online, they're about $6 a pop, and you can go and get them at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and like some of them are like just like a little bit whatever, so like the whole box that they get retailed sent to them might have like 10 lemons and like three perfect ones. They all smell great. They're all soy. So when you burn these, they the whole thing burns up and they just they just smell so good. This is actually not a candle anymore. So what I like to do is after they burn away, if there's anything left, just a tiny little residue of wax, I'll scrape all that out and I'll just put all my little hair ties and stuff in there. So those are usually what sits over here next to my makeup brushes and stuff are those little little candles um they came out with a new collection and they have bon voyage which is this one and it says bon voyage right here and it's got this little boat oh, they smell so good this is like a this is like a manly flower smell i don't know how to describe it i've never smelled candles like this before and this one is it says mermaid kisses and this is like really fruity mulberry kind of smell. They do have a mulberry scent, but it's not super scented. But these are definitely really scented. And they come with um, this little leaflet in there. If you want to see that. Yeah. And it just basically protects the candle from... Oh God, this lighting. I'm still working on it, guys. There you go. It basically just protects the soy candle from anything getting in there. It just smells so good. I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I am all about candles. Alright. A few more things and then we'll be done. Um, one thing I've definitely got there that I'm really glad about this purchase is this. And this was during the um, Susan Coleman Breast Cancer Wellness Month. And they have these little spray bottles. Um, I love these because my cats like to get on counters and do stuff and I can just spray it and it goes about five to eight feet. So I don't really have to get up, I can just spray it and the cat will get off the counter. So, you know, even for hair and stuff, these are great purchases. Okay, just a few more things. So, 
Um, they did have this really cute notebook there that I had to get. It says Be Mermaiding. And it's all reflective and stuff on the tail. And it's just like a basic notebook with paper and stuff. Um, if you get notebooks there, really try to check about the spines and stuff and the bindings to make sure they're, they're a little bit more sturdy. Some of them are more sturdy than others. So, just always check there. They always have really cute notebooks and school supplies. Um, next thing I got was this picture frame. Um, I have a whole bunch of other picture frames. Just like anything at the Dollar Tree, just really check to make sure they're sturdy. But I really like this one. And then like the picture in here, I actually want to take out and like cut and frame because it looks like a mandala and I love mandalas. So, but yeah. Um, let's see here. I got some hand sanitizer. Some fridge magnets. And these are actually really, like, they were all, like, smacked together in the aisle. And I had to, like, peel them apart. So these are pretty thick. So, so six for a dollar. Can't beat it. All right. Next few things I got is I got these caps right here. And I love how they come in this little carrying case so they don't get all over the place and you step on them. But I got these little tacks here and I'm going to do some DIY stuff because I have these cute, cute little dragonfly um, little things and they attach to these push pins and then you just push them in the wall. And they're all like different colors right now, but I want to, of course, paint a couple of them black and put them up in the wall really pretty. The next thing I got is a pack of 20 glue sticks. I've never used glue sticks from the Dollar Tree before, so I'm going to test that out and I'll give you all the tea on that some other time, but uh, yeah, they were really cheap and I needed some for my glue gun. Okay, now the last thing is my favorite part and that is altar supplies. Now let's see here. Okay. Now, I saw these and I almost lost it. There was only two left at the Dollar Tree, but I got one, and that's this Buddha. And this has a, an, a little piece right here to burn incense. Um, it, my rat did that. My pet rat chewed that right there. But the rest of it was completely good. Um, they are, like, they're not made out of plastic. They're made, I think, like, out of, like, stone clay resin. I can't believe he chewed that. Me. Anyway, they do have Buddha statues there right now, and they're really pretty. Um, just really check to make sure you have a really nice, good one. Keep them away from your pets. And if you want to, you know, just any imperfections, you can always put a little piece of tape right here, or like a metal incense, you know, dollar burner right here, and spray paint all this. Make sure it's completely dry. Make sure the paint is, like, not flammable, of course. But, or if it is, you know, if you just want to keep this a statue, you can do that too. But you can just, just repaint it and repurpose it. But I just, I still thought that was cool that I got this cute little Buddha statue. Next is, they had these cutest plates for garden supplies. And I had to get them for some, some altar plaques, so I got this one, which is this moon and sun. And then I got this one. And if you want, you can just put these in your garden, you know, whatever, and they're only a dollar, and they are, they are stone, some, or stone resin, casting, cement, whatever. But I thought they were very pretty, and I can't wait to put those in my altar. Okay, and last couple items are candles. So I got these. And I got two packs of these ones. I usually go through lots of these, so I always get lots and lots of these paper candles. Um, they're unscented. Um, they don't, as far as I know, they don't have lead wicks. And so they're safe, you know, with, with the smells and stuff like that. I believe... I, I'm not exactly sure on the wax. It's probably paraffin, but it's not that stinky, cheap, smelly candle kind of stuff. So just basic candles. Um, these ones, though, I'm going to be using for um, these beautiful leaf sconces that I got from a friend of mine. 
and I'm going to DIY those because they're green and gold right now and of course I want to spray paint them black and hang them up on the wall and put some really cool you know either these candles or these really spooky red ones so it'll be like like black and red I do want to get that American Satan banner that they got so I got like the two cool um, leaf black sconces with the big red taper candle and like the black and red American Satan movie Satanist flag you know on my wall and um, some black uh, fabric up there um, I like to point out no matter what religion you are I respect you I totally respect that I'm all about peace and love here so don't think that you know just because I have things like that in my house that like I'm a mean person or that I condone against negative behavior because I don't and the last thing I got, well, the last few things, were these, um, these cherry votive candles. So, they came in a pack of four. I already took them out to put in my, my sconces that I have in my living room. And they're pretty big candles. Or well, they're like votive candles. But they're like, you know, for a pack of four, that's not bad for a dollar. And they smell really good. And the reason why I like these candles from the Dollar Tree is because when they melt into that glass piece on my sconce when all of the wick's gone and the little bit of wax is left in there I just kind of barely take a butter knife and just kind of dig in there and the whole thing pops out all clean so I just I really like that because it's easy to clean out and it's just it's just so nice it's a nice little piece the very last thing that I got are these shower curtain rings and I get a lot of shower curtain rings from the Dollar Tree and I get a lot of tubs there because um, I like to use them as little rat toys um, most of them I believe are BPA free so if you want just check the sticker on there if you're you know kind of sensitive about that around your animals which is understandable but um, what you do is you just take little baskets and you put the shower curtain rings on there and you you clip them into their cages and they their little hideaways and they like jump in there and jump out and it's just it's just so fun and cool to watch is that it did i do everything did i get it did, did i do it yeah i think that's it the last thing i'm gonna say like there's a last thing like five times in here just just bear with me here okay i did want to point this out and that is these. If you see me on Facebook, you know that my, my picture on there is me wearing these. And these are um, Cyber Falls. And I bought all this, this tubing from the Dollar Tree during Halloween. So these are about two of them. And they just fit right back here, you know. I need to re redo them and everything like that. But I made them into cyber falls and for this whole this whole thing all of this right here was eight bucks yeah all of this this whole big mass was eight dollars so like at some point when I get more I want to have this as all one fall and then have a whole nother one there they need to be repurposed a little bit because they're kind of all over the place but that was probably one of the best purchases I've ever made from Dollar Tree was doing that and they're really squishy um, all you have to do just basic cyber dreadfall stuff is just push in this little tubey part and just just sew them around where you want them to sit and that's it and attach them to some um, some hair ties so these are definitely out of everything that I've gotten these are definitely my favorite and they were a great craft and they were a lot of fun and they've lasted a long time the only thing I can say about them is is keep them away from your cats keep them away from your cats because they will try to destroy them <sighs> I'm gonna have to fix this definitely gonna have to fix it I also got this from the Dollar Tree a couple years ago but I don't know if they still have these anymore but I, I love these, and they're that stone stuff, too. Okay. That's it, guys. That was a lot. It was like 25 minutes worth of video. Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys all this stuff. So thank you for tuning in. Congratulations to the winners, and stay tuned for more videos because I'm going to give out more stuff and 
we're gonna hang out and do makeup and go places and see things and eat food and stuff that everybody else does. So thanks for joining me. You have a great day.